hello guys welcome once again and welcome to my channel today in this video i will be showing you how you can add or use sleek slider on your website in angular 8 or in angular 9 so let's get start with the video agar aapne mere channel ko subscribe nahi kiya hai to channel ko kare subscribe aur sath hi sath dabaye bell ka icon jisse jab bhi main naya video dalu aapko notification milti rahe so guys i have already solved my project and this is my project which i am working on and here i have added some banners and i want that it should be dynamic and and here it should be a slider so how to use a slider so what you have to do this is the api data coming from the api you can see here and and this is the home component you can see and here is i will be using a slider so right now i am using a static image and static data you can see banner 1 and my angular banner so i want that i want to show dynamic uh, images coming from the api and i want to use a slider so how to do that you have to just go to ntmjs.com there you have to search for sleek dash you have to search for sleek carousel and then and you will able to see exact match or something like that so just open it you have to just open the the first one and then you have to just copy the command install command and you have to just go to your project and just you have to install this and also one more file you will require that is ngx sleek carousel so just search for it just open the first one and and just copy and just copy the name and just paste it here so both the models you have to install you just enter hit enter button and these two models will be installed on your project so that's wait for the installation then you have got some document also how you can apply this you have to just you know use uh, you, you can go through the document and you can apply these and you have to import the module then you have to import the sleek module here also then you have to use uh, sleek css sleek theme css and you know jquery i've already shown in the previous videos how you can install jquery and then you have to use sleek min js then this will be our html part which we will be using for showing a slider then you have some configuration in the typescript file and in this way you can you know go to the document and you can apply the slider on your website so let's see whether the installation is completed or not so the installation is completed now let me go to my project here you can see and what you have to do is you have to go to angular.json file and here you have to import the sleek slider so for that you have to so just go to your project and just check for the project uh, sorry the installation file go to the modules here and here you will able to see sleek carousel you can see and inside this sleek folder you will able to see the min js and css file so just copy the path from here and just minimize this and just paste the path here now what you have to do you have you know imported the file here now you have to just go to your app.module.typescript file and here we will be importing the required module for sleek carousel so you have to just write sleek let's copy i think i won't making a spelling mistake so what i will do i will just copy this here and i will just paste the module name here and uh, here i will write from and the path of the file so the path is inside my node modules so i have to go back then inside the node modules 
I will have to search for ngx let's search for it so you can see here the path and you have to just copy the name here because sleek carousel and like this that's it okay guys now what you have to do you have to just copy the module name and then you have to come down there here imports and you have to just paste the sleek carousel module so you have imported just close the app.module.tiscript file angular json file also no require for this now we will be using our code inside our html so we have what we have done just let's go to the document we have imported the uh, required module here and we have also used the style you can see here and we have added a script also now we will be using this html so i will just copy this from here and i will just paste it here so you can see now i will copy this you can see I have to do the same way I am doing I am using li for my slider so I will just paste the code here and I do not require this division and also I do not require all these events so I will just remove I will remove these events you have to keep config because I will be showing you what is the use of it so just copy your element from here and just paste it inside the ngx carousel tag okay guys now what we have to do is the banner data which we are which is coming on our website you can see the data is coming from the banner data so i will just use the banner data and i don't have to explain why i am using ng for for looping so i will just write here let banner of banner data so now here what i will do is i will instead of static path i will use my dynamic path which is banner dot image because the data is coming inside the the path is coming inside the image parameter so now here in the same way i will use heading also because the heading is also coming from the api so i will just write heading and then again here I will be using subheading so I will use subheading also dot subheading you can see here let me show you you can see the heading and subheading and the image is also coming so now it's throwing error for the config because I haven't you know defined the config inside my TypeScript file so I will just copy it and I will just go here and I will just you know like this and I will just write here like this okay guys so now the image error has been gone so i will just refresh my page here and it says to expose declare class module so it is throwing some error let me see what the error is so what i will do i will use some you know configuration which are defined here so let's see let's say slides to show and slides to scroll so I will just paste it here and I want to show only one image at a time and one at a time one scroll at a time so I will just use this now the data is so it's throwing an error so what I will do I will just go to my project I will just uh, you know cancel this compilation and then I will again serve my project and after serving my project I will refresh my page then there will be no error ok guys so let's wait for our compilation so guys compilation is successful but is, it is giving error so what I will do is I will go to my app.module. here and I will just you know what I will do is just remove the path and I will just directly write ngx slash dash carousel ok guys now So it's now it's compiled successfully 
and you can see the uh, the slider is now working and uh, you can see the image is not coming so let's see what the problem is i think the image problem is with the with the html part so what i will do is i will just instead of style i will write ng style here and here i will be using single quote like this and i will remove the semicolons from here i do not require semicolon instead of semicolon i will be using comma separate because it's here it, i am using a kind of json here so now you have to use all this in single quote like this like this and here you have to write all this in single quote and this also will be in single quote here you have to use like this and here you have to write plus plus and no requirement of curly brackets ok guys now let's see whether that our image is coming or not so you can see the data is coming here from the api and our banner is working really very fine and you can see but now i want that it should auto scroll so for that you have to use configurations for your for your slider so you have to just write auto play there are lot many configurations available you can google and check i am just showing few of them like suppose if you want to auto play or this thing ban slider so you can use auto play and then if you want for a certain time so you have to just write auto play speed and then you have to call in and then you have to write time in milliseconds so for th four, uh, 4 seconds i want so that's why i am writing 4000 now i will just refresh my page here now let's see once again and it should auto scroll i am not using my mouse or any key from my and it is auto scrolling you can see here it is really working very fine so in this way you can you know use slider on your website so that's all for today's video if you like the video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video and bye for now